Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you an awesome new vSphere 5 feature called NetFlow. First, some attention guys and ladies, because when you are going to the VMworld I would really appreciate it that you are attending the session from Matthias and Eric Sloof and it's running at Tuesday 11.30 and at Wednesday at 8. So come to the Mythbusters Ghost Virtual Session and you will take some notes and I promise you, you will change a thing or two in your data center. But let's go to the serious business and I already created a terminal server client session to my vCenter server and when you want to enable NetFlow you have to use the vSphere client and log on to your vCenter server. NetFlow is available on distributed switches only so when I'm going to the settings of this distributed switch you will notice in vSphere 5 that there are a few new options right here and one of the tabs is showing us the NetFlow tab. So if you are going to enable NetFlow you have to put in an IP address of the collector setting. The collector setting is the IP address of your NetFlow server. So it's a server that is collecting uh, your traffic, not the traffic itself, but uh, the number of packets sent out, the type of traffic, the origi originating IP address. So what I did on my vCenter server is that I've downloaded uh, an e evaluation version of Manage Engine, the NetFlow Analyzer, and it's a 64-bit uh, uh, application which can be used for 30 days for free. And when you are installing this software, there is a point where you are asked to put in a web port and a NetFlow port. So you can leave these uh, two uh, things default, but you have to notice that the NetFlow port is 9996. And uh, because I'm running the software on the same server as my vCenter server, Going back to my vSphere clients, you will see that I have used my vCenter server address as the collector setting address because the NetFlow server is running on the same server. And the port I've used is 9996. You can also put in a VDS IP address. And this VDS IP address will be used as the originating address of your distrib distributed switch. So when you are monitoring VM to VM traffic, you can uh, see which distributed switch is handling the traffic of your virtual machines. There is a sample rate which can be used to put in uh, the amount of samples you want to see. You have to put in on one and every single sample will be sent out to your NetFlow server. And you can also put in some other things like uh, the active flow and the idle flow export timeout. So you can also process only internal virtual machine traffic when you are already using NetFlow on your physical hardware and you want to you want only want to monitor the virtual machine to virtual machine traffic you have to use this setting so when you are putting this figure on zero it is disabled and the sample rate is now put on one if you put it on five every fifth packet will be sampled and it can be uh, it can use some CPU cycles if you put it on one so be aware of that that flow is configured on our switch. Is that enough? No, it isn't. When I'm going to the port group, I can individually uh, enable this port group for NetFlow. I can do it on a port basis or on a port group basis. And what you see right here is that uh, at the monitoring part, you have to enable NetFlow for this port group. You can also enable it on individual port basis right here at the, at the setting monitoring and NetFlow is enabled. So what I did uh, in my vCenter server environment is that I've, uh, I'm running two virtual machines, uh, 192.168.2.128 on 1.77, and those virtual machines are both configured on the port group I've created on the distributed switch. So this virtual network adapter is attached to the DV port group, and on the 177, when I'm going to the settings, it's also connected to the DV port group. So I have two virtual machines active, up and running, both connected to the distributed switch. What I'm going to do now is uh, create some traffic. So uh, when I'm going to the console of this virtual machine, to the 128 console, uh, I'm running a cool test utility called the Passmark Advanced Network Test, and I'm going to create one server and one client. So at 177, I'm going to the console and I'm going to log on to this virtual machine. 
and let's put in the password and all my passwords are VMware oh VMware oh hmm strange okay let's go to the other virtual machine this one is set up as a test I already did that in advance and this one is also locked hmm Send control all delete. Okay. And the other one is acting as a client. So uh, when I'm uh, putting in the IP address of my server, I'm using UDP traffic or TCP. I'm going, uh, I can put in the test duration and I'm also can put in the port, the listening port. I'm hitting go and a lot of traffic will be generated right now. You see it, it's running right now and the megabytes are flowing over the virtual switch. So if you want, if you're wondering uh, and you are uh, an administrator of uh, an environment with a lot of virtual machines and someone is complaining about slow network performance, then uh, you can use uh, the NetFlow analyzer which is hosted on the website and uh, it's just putting in the IP address and you can use a NetFlow analyzer log on with admin admin and there are some really cool dashboards you can see right here and this information what you see right here is gathered by the analyzing software but it's broadcasted through NetFlow by your distributed switch so uh, I see some interesting IP addresses right here and what you'll see is SMTP because I'm using port 25 at uh, uh, with the Pathmark software is that a lot of gigabytes are running through to S SMT SMTP so this analyzing software packet is wondering what uh, who, who's sending out so much emails but you can monitor specific IP addresses you can also see uh, the origina originating uh, distributed switch and uh, there are some uh, some cool things like uh, are there a lot of users watching videos on YouTube or videos on sports sites or are there a lot of users using show social network sites or are there a lot of people using mail sites like Gmail and you can create your own dashboards and you can easily identify which virtual machine is is using a lot of bandwidth and uh, you can even put it on a Google map and put in all your your physical routers and switches and also the virtual machine so it's it's real cool software uh, when you go to the last 24 hours then you have the uh, you can create a report and uh, you can uh, also create a report from your interfaces and here you see the, the switch back the 100 this is the IP address of your the fake IP address of your virtual distributed switch just to pinpoint it there are really nice graphics right here so uh, there are a lot of software analyzers for NetFlow because Cisco is the one who origi originally created the NetFlow protocol but a lot of other software vendors are also adopting this NetFlow software so once again let's go to my vCenter server and take a look at the settings I've changed in this environment you have to go to networking you have to create a distributed switch and once you have created a distrib distributed switch you have to add some hosts and some uh, physical network cards to it then you have to create a distributed port group once you have enabled NetFlow on your distributed switch it's right here you can put in the IP address of your NetFlow receiver and you can also configure the port of your NetFlow receiver you can put in the fake IP address of your virtual distributed switch just to pinpoint it down the sample rate and the number of uh, the timeouts for active and idle flows and on the port group itself you can then activate NetFlow at monitoring and you can enable or disable it it's real cool software a real great uh, new enhanced feature within vSphere 5 I hope you like it Eric Sloof is signing off and I will see you real soon again with some other great new video material bye bye <laughs>